Welcome back into Live It Up. We're taping today at Innovative Nutrition and Wellness Solutions. I'm Lee Aker, and I'm with these two beautiful ladies for crying out loud. I have the gorgeous Pam Klein and the gorgeous Beth Killy with us. And we can't wait to get, dive right into everything you do. She's a performing songwriter and music director for Girls Rock Camp Madison. Oh, Beth, it's always a pleasure to see you. Well, thank you for having me. It's Gosh. nice to be here. What a beautiful I, space. I know, this place <laughs> is amazing, that's yes. for sure. Yes. I've been um, privileged enough to see you at Edgewater singing, at Bailey's Vineyard. Yes. Oh my gosh, you're like everywhere and <laughs> you are just so beautiful. Can we just like get a little synopsis about Beth Killey and yes. what she's all about and what you got going on? Yes, well I do many things, I wear many hats, but uh, primarily I think of myself as a performing songwriter. Mm -hmm and I am also the music director for Girls Rock Camp, which you mentioned earlier, and I'm a mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? That's all a full-time job. Yes. You got three full-time jobs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh gosh, yeah, and I remember back in the day of Bravo Magazine, when yes. I was there, that you did so many of our events too. Like you just been all over Madison and in so many different like areas for nonprofits, for these beautiful vineyards like Bailey's yes. and the Edgewater. Gosh, you got it going on. Oh, so well, thank, you. thank you for bringing your beautiful <laughs> voice to the Madison area. So is this just you? Do you perform solo? Or are you a part of a band? Or yes. you visit with and entertain with other bands? How does that work? Right, well, I do solo shows with just me and my guitar. Okay. Um, but I also have a full band that I play with uh, aptly named the Beth Killey Band, <laughs> which uh, is Michael Tully on guitar, Michael Mood on bass, and then my husband doubles as my drummer uh, when I need a drummer. And um, then I also play with a trio called Gin, Chocolate, and Bottle Rockets, and that's with my two best friends, uh, Shondell Marks and Jen Farley, and we do a lot of tight three-part harmonizing. And then I have a very occasional band with my good friend Eric Chelland of the Mascot Theory called Kerosene Kites, and we're a duo, and we've uh, put out some holiday albums, which is very random, but we started writing Christmas songs together many oh, years sweet. ago. So, yeah, so I have uh, many different hats I wear in the music world, but I mostly perform regionally, locally, and so it's nice to diversify so people don't get sick of just seeing one girl with her That's guitar. That's so interesting, though. I never would have thought that you perform with multiple bands, yes. right? Like you just think of somebody as a solo or they have their one band, but yeah. my gosh, we can find you all over the place. Absolutely. <laughs> like I said, she's everywhere. Yeah. Right out loud. Do you know what, when you were at the Edgewater and it was with that band with the Bottle Rocket Gin? Yep, Gin, yep. Chocolate and Bottle Rocket. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, so which one are you? Uh, well, it varies from night to night, okay. but mostly I'm the Gin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's because Shawnee, uh, my bandmate, uh, is the chocolate because she is super sweet and she's always feeding us chocolate and then Jen Farley my other bandmate is um, she does a wicked Janis Joplin impersonation so she is a bottle rocket on the stage in fact the first time we performed together um, she was flailing around and dancing so wildly she accidentally punched me in the head and I was like I fell in love with her at that moment I'm like we're gonna be in a band together oh my god <laughs> like anybody with that much spirit I need to That's harness awesome. that energy yeah I uh, when you guys performed at the edge Butter, it was um, and she was singing a little Janice job yes. on that day it was amazing yes yes, yes. yes. and you're always like so amazing for crying out loud <laughs> so uh, besides all the places I have mentioned where else can people find your music then? Yes. well if you go to my website it's, okay. it's just bethkilly.com. Um, it lists all the places I'll be performing, and um, my music's available on Spotify. Um, over the course of the last 20 years, I've put out 18 different albums with the different ensembles I've played with, and that's all listed on the website there. So, um, so yeah, most streaming, streaming services have the music from all the bands I've been involved in over the years. And, and uh, yeah, please come see me live too, because that's my favorite thing to do oh, is yes. play to, to faces. Yes, <laughs> yes. Do you have any like events coming up that um, like maybe yeah. like mid to later October or so and, and moving forward? Well, actually a big event that's coming up in November is um, a fundraising event that my friend Eric Chelland from the Mascot Theory, who's also my kerosene kites bandmate, and okay. I have been doing, we're having our 10th anniversary of the start of Flannel Fest. Ooh. And that's a fundraiser for- I'm in! I know! So <laughs> it was brilliant. We, uh, we were writing together uh, over a decade ago and I, was, I had just gone to a show where a bunch of the artists were wearing flannel and I was like, we should start this Americana Music Festival and call it Flannel Fest and just bring all our friends together and find some charity. So we're actually celebrating our 10th anniversary of this 
sort of random idea that the two of us came up with. So our, we, had, we wanted an excuse for our bands to perform together, but we're raising funds for the Keep Wisconsin Warm slash Cool oh. Fund. Oh, yeah. And uh, that so important. important. So yes, important. Yes. It's amazing how many people this organization has helped over the years. And, and how many people go without heat or air conditioning. Right. Yeah. Or they choose, like, do I feed my family or do I keep the heat on? And right. that's just amazing what this organization has done to help Wisconsin families. Yes. And um, over the years, we've raised thousands of dollars for awesome. this organization. So well, at the Barrymore. More, oh, it's at the Barrymore. Yes. Let's talk more about that. And we're going to listen to a little song with Beth when we come back. Welcome back into Live It Up. I'm Lee Aker here with Pam Klein, and we're so excited to have this beautiful lady sitting next to us. We've been waiting for this segment for so long, so we're super giddy about it. We have Beth Kelly with us. Thanks for stopping in today and doing the show with us. We so appreciate my it. My pleasure. Oh Happy my to gosh. Be here. <laughs> so you're the songwriter and music director for Girls Rock Camp Madison. Yes. Mm -hmm. I apologize, I've never heard of it. Yes! Tell me all about it! So, Girls Rock Camp is a one-week day camp for girls ages 8 to 18, oh. and they don't have to have any musical experience. So they show up on day one, we provide them with an instrument, either a bass guitar, guitar, keyboard, drums, or... How about a recorder? I remember the recorder oh. from elementary school. Absolutely, <laughs> we, could, we could add that in if you really okay. wanted. We also consider voice an instrument, so uh, we teach them how to play the instrument, uh, we help them form a band with their fellow campers. They write a song, and at the end of the week, they perform in front of hundreds of screaming supporters, oh uh, either God. at the Heinen Saloon or the Barrymore or the um, Majestic Theater, places like that. And um, we just have a blast. And it really, the you know, music is the vehicle, but really the message to these kids is that if you collaborate and build each other up and share your voices and listen to each other. You can do anything you set mm -hmm. your mind to. Yeah. Because if you just met four people, formed a band with them, wrote a song, and then rocked out in front of hundreds of people, you can do anything, really. <laughs> right? <laughs> you need to have a ladies rock camp in Madison, um, and then we'll be it. We have ladies rock camp. What? That is a thing. Oh, yes. Lord. So we have three ladies rock camps. There are Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because most women won't take a full week out of their lives to devote to themselves, Yeah. really which is kind of sad, but we give them uh, the same experience in just three days, and it's much more intimate. We have 50 kids at the girls' rock camps. We only have 20 women at the ladies' rock camps, but it's the exact same premise. You don't have to have any experience. You just have to have the desire to rock and want to have a good time with your friends. And some people come solo, some people come with friends and family members, nice. and we just have a great time. And is that yeah. information on your website? So do I just yeah. Google Girls Rock Camp Madison? Yes. And, okay. It'll okay. pop right up, and it's all there. We have all the dates for our upcoming camps for Ladies Rock Camp, and even next summer for Girls Rock Camp. And oh. registration's open for all of our Ladies Rock oh, Camp, so uh, nice. maybe I'll see so, you in December. So if, there's, <laughs> if we're not musically inclined, I shouldn't speak for you, but... <laughs> if, <laughs> I mean, I whistle, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> that, um, we, you can help us. Absolutely. Oh. Yes. It's, I always tell the campers um, it is rock and roll, it's not rocket science. You can <laughs> learn maybe two chords on a guitar or you know a really basic drum beat and you can write a rock and roll song. And because you're writing it, it's not like you're learning something that's yeah. highly technical that somebody else performed. You're doing what you can do. And yeah. we have Good an point. incredible group of staff that know how to help people get it done. And it's a really, I believe, a really empowering experience. They can live out a dream that they've always had. It's yeah. exactly. A lot of people are like, this what is an just opportunity. one of my bucket list things. Well, mm -hmm. and also just to overcome fears that you just get, you know, you don't even want to like mention out loud. Yes. And then you're like, oh, maybe I can do that. And just meeting some other great people. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, some of the people uh, continue playing in bands with people they met at camp. And they're all just kind of starting from the ground up, and it's really fun to see that. So we should start thinking of our band name. Yes, yes but I think we should hear from her first. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Can all right, you want to hear a little song here? That'd be awesome. Actually, this song, I did a music video with a bunch of girls rock campers. It's called Ooh. I've Been Accused. I wrote it with my friend Jesse Lynn. Well, I've been accused of driving way too fast. I've been accused of standing too close to me. I want to get up and dance. <laughs> well, it's been said that I am unstable, relentless, crazy, and unable to back down in a fight. Well, they might be right.
lighting both ends of a candle just to watch it burn. Watching. We're going to continue to listen.